now to talk about the Basketball Africa League, we go to uh, our guest to join us from Uganda, Emanzi Nyad Muhachi. Thank you so much, Emanzi, for joining us on the show. Joining us all the way from Kampala, Uganda. It's time to talk about um, the Basketball Africa League, Emanzi. I'm very sure you've been excited so far, looking at the thought and fourth place classification game and now we've got a final the final is already here i did say that mm. al ali on 6-1 in the debut season and as2 and two they are on 5-2 so where do you think the pendulum will swing who is favorites to clinch the championship today well good afternoon and uh, thanks for having me uh for your friend first of all i'm today i just play to you uh, DK Arena and uh, we can watch uh, the final between Alaska and uh, AS1. So, we asked uh, who I think are favorite. I think uh, even before uh, the play started, uh, everyone thought that it was going to be Alaska and uh, uh, Peter de Rwanda playing in the final. And, uh, I need to hear you clearly. Yeah, uh, uh, by, by beating uh, Petro. Uh, in, uh, in in the in the in the semifinals, and that means that uh, they they might be considered as underdogs going into the finals, but uh, they cannot be taken lightly. But uh, what's for sure is that Alahli are uh, the more uh, experienced side. If you look at uh, uh, their history, uh, what they've achieved on the African continent. Uh, compared to AS Duanes, uh, you would think that Alahli are their favourites, but uh, it's a uh, Duane side that uh, has beaten uh, Petro de Luanda in the semifinals. It's mm -hmm. the same side that beat uh, uh, the champions of last year, US Monastir, uh, in the Sahara Conference. So they cannot be taken lightly. Uh, Alahli might be favorites, but uh, there is nothing for granted in this final. Okay, AS Duane, as you did say, of course, have been spectacular too. They came back from two defeats, but are fine and are about to make history. They started this Basketball Africa League campaign with two losses, but have since rallied and remained undefeated. What are your expectations on performance going into this final? Because they made history. They're making their first final. Nobody saw AS Duanes coming to this level, but they are there already. They're here. The final is here and they have to go against a formidable team in Al Akli. Yeah, uh, they cannot be taken lightly. Uh, like I said uh, earlier, uh, they are a very good team. They have very good guards. Uh, Marcus uh, Crawford and uh, uh, Jane Jackers Boyce, uh, like you mentioned in your introduction, uh, these are very good guards. Uh, they can play the ball, they can uh, attack the hoop, they can shoot the ball if you give them uh, that option. So uh, they are very uh, physical side. And uh, I remember the early coach uh, saying that uh, they are going to, they have to prepare for a very physical battle against uh, AS Duanes. And that's why it, there's nothing short uh, of that when you look at uh, this team. They are all very athletic. Uh, they are big uh, in the pain. They have that presence. Uh, so it's going to be very tough for Alahli. They will have to work hard uh, if they are going to win uh, the first title. AS Duanes have been the surprise uh, package of uh, the BAL this season. Uh, no one uh, really expected them to go this far. They lost the first game, two games of the uh, the Sahara Conference, but since then, uh, they've won five games in a row. Mm -hmm. And uh, that tells you that, uh, and some big, win, big wins as well. Uh, like yes, I said is. earlier, they beat Monastir uh, to get them out of the BAL. They eliminated uh, Petro de Rwanda. Uh, so they'll be looking at another big scalp, and that is Alahli that is on their way in the final. This reminds me the world of football of that final in the African Cup of Nations where Senegal had to go against um, Egypt. So it's a Senegal and Egypt um, battle once again, yeah. Emanzi. So uh, let me put you on the spot. What do you think will claim to this one this year? It's very hard uh, to predict, but I'll go uh, with uh, the experience of uh, Alahli. Uh, you mentioned uh, someone like Kerab Amin uh, in uh, your introduction, and uh, he's very big for them. They've had uh, Nuni uh, Omot, the addition that they made uh, in uh, the, for this season. Very good uh, addition, a very long player who stretches the floor, can shoot the three ball, uh, is very good uh, around the rim. So uh, I think Alahli might have uh, a little bit of an edge. And okay. uh, 
I'll go with them to win, but uh, nothing will surprise me if uh, F1 is come out and win this one. Okay, let's wait and see. And if I will choose Alahri. <laughs> let's wait and see if your prediction will come to fruition. <laughs> but um, Rwanda, I must give it to Rwanda. They've been able to host a beautiful competition. The Basketball Africa League is really taking basketball to another level on the African scene. The Eastern Conference course and the Sahara Conference the Nile Conference and the Sahara Conference has been a wonderful one and now the finals so looking at Rwanda as a host will you call them a wadi host so far holding this competition yeah uh, wadi hosts and uh, that's why they are hosting it for the third time in a row uh, yeah. they hosted season one and two and now uh, we are in season three and they are still uh, the hosts that are selected so I think they've been very intentional uh, in terms of uh, the development of sports. So the infrastructure that you see around you, talking about uh, the BK Arena just next to it, they're trying to uh, renovate uh, the Amahoro Stadium uh, to make it uh, uh, yet another big uh, attraction to sports activities uh, in uh, East Africa and in Rwanda to be particular. So I think everything has been uh, done uh, at a professional level. I'm not sure BAL... Uh, officials would have uh, chosen to return to Rwanda for the third time in a row if you are not uh, doing a good job. So uh, I think from uh, the whatever you see uh, shows you that uh, the organization uh, is uh, very good. Uh, most importantly, the infrastructure, uh, the BK Arena is a very good uh, stadium that uh, allows for so many uh, things to happen uh, in uh, in terms of organizing uh, a big tournament like this. So. Uh, you have to give Rwanda uh, a lot of credit. They've been intentional in uh, some of, of in most of these things that uh, they are doing. They built uh, their arena, uh, I think, in less than one year. You, uh, that uh, they are focused on okay. developing All right. sports. Uh, they are focused on attracting more uh, sports uh, activities. They are more uh, at uh, just on the sidelines of the BA. They were able to sign a, a hosting contract for. Uh, for the FIBA women's Afro basket that is coming up in uh, July and August. And uh, I think that tells you that uh, they are doing a good job and uh, more activities look like they are going to be coming down here in Chigari. Okay, right now, that, that's a pass mark for Rwanda hosting the Basketball Africa League. Thank you so much, Emanzi and Muachi, for joining us today. And I would say happy Children's Day. I'm sure you're so and son. So happy Children's Day to you. <laughs> Yeah, I have uh, a very beautiful daughter who met three months today. Wow, well, congratulations to her. And of course, um, happy three months to your beautiful daughter.